Hey, thanks for taking five with me, Wolf Gornick, Fuman Spriffing and IT and IT Security. I am just off giving a webinar as we all settle into the new normal of working remote and working from home. And uh, in this, on this webinar, I get to tell one of my favorite stories. So I'll tell it to you here and uh, then give you the takeaway in terms of security. Imagine if you're back in the 70s, right? Silicon Valley, 1970s. You see this guy walking along, dapper guy, but a little bit rumpled. And he's carrying this battered briefcase. Like, what's, what's up with this briefcase? And he'd carry it to meetings. He'd open it up and fidget with it. He'd close it, carry it somewhere else, fidget with it some more, open it up and, you know, take some things in, move things out. And that guy was Bill Mogridge. So Bill Mogridge uh, was carrying a briefcase of computer parts, right? So your, your power supply, your motherboard, your disk drive, briefcase full of power of computer parts. And in doing so, he was building intuition, building intuition in terms of what you could carry, how much, where parts should go, building intuition in terms of uh, you know, the right way to put things together. And of course, opening and closing, thinking it through. Now, fast forward a little bit to 1982. 1982, Grid, the company, releases the Compass. The first portable computer, the first laptop, 1982. This computer, the Grid Compass, is beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. Uh, it actually flew on the space station, or flew on the shuttle to the space station. Check it out, Grid Compass. Now, Bill Mogridge was the one who developed that as part of his company, IDEO. And Bill Mogridge is the one who came up with the inspiration, the design, the innovation of opening your computer with the screen and the keyboard. We all do that, right? 40 years later, we're all still building laptops and running laptops and having computers that work that way based off the idea that Bill had, based off of the inspiration that came to him after carrying around parts in a suitcase. Now, why does this apply to cybersecurity? Well, the tip for you is this. So oftentimes when we want to implement a strategy, uh, in the case of this webinar today, this was uh, zero trust. So when you want to implement a strategy, um, we oftentimes don't know where to go, right? We don't necessarily know what pieces we have and what we should have, what we need. We don't necessarily know um, what the end state will look like. You know, envisioning that final state is very difficult. And because we can't envision it, oftentimes we'll push back and not be ready, right? I'm not ready yet. I need more time, more research. That didn't stop Bill Mogridge, right? And I don't think it should stop security leaders today. I think within our briefcase, the, the security programs are running. Uh, the parts we have, we should put together. We should carry them. We should carry them and bring them together and, and experiment a little bit. Build the intuition, feel the weight, feel what goes together and what doesn't, feel what works and what doesn't. Learn the strengths and the uh, drawbacks, frankly, of the technologies that are available. Now, there's gonna be gaps. It's not gonna do everything. <laughs> the, uh, the difference between the computing power that I have today on my MacBook versus the grid compass is insane, right? The, the difference in weight is insane. There was a lot of changes that happened over 40 years. But by living with what was possible and building intuition around it and then innovating, Bill Mogridge was able to set the standard for four decades. And I'd argue security teams that do the same thing, whatever program you're working on, whatever strategy you're working on, starting, putting those pieces together, just living with it. Those companies, those innovative companies, are going to be the ones that set the pace for the coming decades. Um, that's my hunch. That's my story about uh, one of my favorite stories about Silicon Valley in the early days. I love to hear from you. Does this make sense? What programs are you working on? Where do you get hung up? Um, what goes in the briefcase? Hit me up in the comments or social media. Cheers.